Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel The Middle Path the path which leads to liberation please subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i put a new video in this video we learn about the 22 vows that dr b r ambedkar prescribed during the historic religious conversion to buddhism on 14th october 1956 at diksha bhumi in nagpur 8 lakh people got converted and this was the largest religious conversion the world has ever witnessed before getting into the 22 vows let's get some brief introduction of why dr b r ambedkar converted from hinduism to buddhism so what do you think would be the reason for him to renounce hinduism dr b r ambedkar was born in mahar caste which is considered as untouchable hinduism was so cruel and denied the basic human rights on the basis of a person's caste in which he was born inequality is default in hinduism and inequality has a divine sanction in hinduism initially dr b r ambedkar tried to create empathy in upper caste people who were the ruling class so that they have compassion towards every human being but this did not work dr ambedkar learned from the history that so many social reformers tried to reform the hindu religion but as the foundation of hinduism is the caste system thus he came to a conclusion that hinduism can never be reformed thus dr ambedkar had given a statement that i was born a hindu but i shall not die as a hindu dr ambedkar opined that untouchability couldn't be relieved if they stayed in hindu religion since it denied the intellectual economic and social development of a person belonging to the lower caste so till now we understood why dr b r ambedkar renounced hinduism so now let's see why he chose to convert into buddhism over all the other religions dr ambedkar strongly believed in buddha's message of equality ambedkar opined buddha's dhamma is the best if a modern man who knows science must have a religion that would be buddha's dhamma dr ambedkar studied all religions for 35 years buddha's dhamma promotes free thinking rationalism and spirit of inquiry while all the other religions are infallible buddha's dhamma was totally opposite to the hinduism dhamma preaches empathy compassion freedom and equality dhamma also preached humanity self respect and dignity which was denied in the hindu dharma shastra for the lower caste people ambedkar writes the history of india is nothing but the struggle between buddhism and brahmanism the 22 oaths were given so that there may be complete severance of bond with hinduism these 22 vows struck a blow at the roots of hindu beliefs and practices these vows protect buddhism from confusion and contradictions these vows could liberate converts from superstition wasteful and meaningless rituals which made the masses poor and enrich the upper caste of hindu so now let's look into the 22 vows which dr b r ambedkar had prescribed i shall have no faith in brahma vishnu and mahesh nor shall i worship them i shall have no faith in rama and krishna who are believed to be incarnation of god nor shall i worship them i shall have no faith in gauri ganapati and other gods and goddesses of hindus nor shall i worship them i do not believe in the incarnation of god i do not and shall not believe that lord buddha was the incarnation of vishnu i believe this to be a sheer madness and false propaganda i shall not perform shraddha nor shall i give pindadan i shall not act in a manner violating the principles and teachings of the buddha i shall not allow any ceremonies to be performed by brahmins i shall believe in the equality of men i shall endeavor to establish equality i shall follow the noble eight old path of the buddha i shall follow the paramitas prescribed by the buddha i shall have compassion and loving kindness for all living beings and protect them 
I shall not steal. I shall not tell lies. I shall not commit carnal sins. I shall not take intoxicants like liquor, drugs, etc. I shall endeavor to follow the noble eightfold path and practice compassion and loving kindness in everyday life. I shall renounce Hinduism which is harmful for humanity and impedes the advancement and development of humanity because it is based on inequality and adopt Buddhism as my religion. I firmly believe the Dhamma of the Buddha is the only true religion. I believe that that i am having a rebirth i solemnly declare and affirm that i shall hereafter lead my life according to the principles and teachings of the buddha and his dhamma thank you for watching this video till end and please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video